effectively once everything will be said and done and then if you put in context our own application projects in Portugal, Golpa is set to slowly become a major player, a junior player in Portugal, um, you know, as things progress here. So good day, everybody, and welcome to Spotlight Mining once again with myself, Liam Hardy, and again, friend, Catalin Kilofliski. How are you doing, Catalin? Very good and very excited, Liam, today. <laughs> yeah, so we always seem to speak on good days. That's, uh, <laughs> um, today, you've got a news release out uh, from your projects in Portugal. How about we start by just giving us a quick summary of what you've been up to since our last chat with uh, with Spotlight and, and Goldplay? Sure. I mean, uh, first, nice to talk to you again and uh, pleasure to update the investors here. So look, Goldbay has been trading for a, a, actually exactly two months today. Um, and when we started trading, we set ourselves a very ambitious goal. And today, you know, with the announcement of another major acquisition, uh, I'm very happy that we are delivering on our promise. So, uh, you know, we've started uh, when we went public with the BC project, which is still a great project. We're gonna start working on it this summer. Uh, along with some uh, great exploration projects in Portugal that are under application. But today we've added a significant um, pool of projects in Portugal, some of which already have the license on them. And uh, effectively two of them are drill ready. You know, we are looking at projects that have seen historical production for both copper and gold, and that can be more excited about the opportunity. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's quite a broad set of projects in Portugal as well. Uh, I mean, all copper gold focused, um, but I was looking at a map <laughs> and they're quite spread out um, on a map. It looks like they're miles apart. Then I, I Googled quickly, how big is Portugal? Uh, and it's 92,000 square kilometers. Uh, and then I looked at British Columbia, which is 944,000 square kilometers. <laughs> and I realized that, uh, you know, your licenses are probably only as far away from each other as two golden triangle licenses are anyway, so. No, that's true. And uh, you know, what we've acquired today, just to be a bit more exact, uh, we have acquired the interest in a Portuguese company, which we have uh, the right to buy up to 100% interest into the projects, into the company, sorry. Uh, in, the, in the company, uh, there's already uh, an existing exploration license that's been granted directly by the Portuguese government to the company which is excellent because, you know, we're not paying any middlemen for anything. You know, we got, they got this project from the government, the concessions. And uh, specifically, you know, there are two projects in, in, in that license that one is a historical high-grade copper mine, uh, underground copper mine, which still has a, a mill building in place and facilities in place. So uh, very exciting operation because when it last produced, copper was 55 cents a pound in 1975. So, Effectively, nothing has happened since. Um, and we are now have the opportunity to work on the project when copper is, you know, where it is today. So very exciting times. And then along with that, there is a high grade gold project, underground gold project. That's again, has seen very little exploration on it, but very exciting results um, that have been uh, highlighted based on the prior work. So we will be in a position to pick up you know, the shovels and hopefully turn the drills later on this uh, summer uh, on those projects. And uh, this is just one part of the assets that come with the company. There's also two other pending applications. So that's why you, when you look at the map, you're seeing a bunch of stuff. Uh, so it's really the existing projects which are already granted and then two more uh, that are pending to be granted. So, um, you know, Effectively, once everything will be said and done, and then if you put in context our own application projects in Portugal, Golpa is set to slowly become a major player, a junior player in Portugal, um, you know, as things progress here. So, you know, we're going to keep our focus on BC. And we're still very confident about, you know, making hopefully a nice discovery there, being in the Golden Triangle in a project that's really never been worked on and us being the first to do the work on. So that remains uh, an important uh, asset, but uh, Portugal, you know, with a suite of things going on, slowly will build up to be a significant exposure for gold play as, as things move forward. Yeah, and uh, something that grabbed me about your news release uh, this morning was the price you paid for, for those projects in Portugal. Now, I think a lot of people know I've been shopping for copper projects in Europe, 
and you got a very good deal on those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so what was the what was the process you went through there? Like, uh, it's a company that you've worked with before. You know the guys. So. Look, it's all about, I think, track record and people, right? Uh, you know, we've all been in the space um, talking about myself and the people in the board and actually uh, my exploration manager in Portugal to remind people, uh, Jose Mario Branco is, the, uh, is our exploration manager, but this is the same guy that ran Landin Mining, uh, the big Landin Mining uh, operations exploration-wise in Europe for seven years. So it's really a, a matter of, um, you know, the right contacts and the right relationships, right? Even the, the people we are buying the, the projects from, um, they are actually a very solid group of mining and businessmen guys in Portugal. So it's really finding the right people and the right opportunities and, and partnering with those guys, right? So um, we're very fortunate that now we can actually leverage our relationships. And that's our strategy from, from the beginning. If you go back, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we announced the appointment of a, an advisory board and look at the people there, you know, we have the CEO of Skina Resources, billion dollar company as the chairman of that. Why? Because, you know, those are the people we need to have around us to open the right opportunities and help us grow, help us achieve our objectives to become a successful company. Yeah. And uh, if anyone wants to see more from uh, Jose Mario, we did an interview uh, uh, just over a month ago now. So you can hear me and him for 40 minutes talking about Portuguese geology, uh, which... Uh, <laughs> requires a specialist uh, viewing capacity i think but I, I really enjoyed it he's a great guy yeah yeah thank you no, so I, one thing oh sorry go ahead Kathleen. no i think it's it's great i mean you know we're fortunate to have somebody of that caliber join you know a small company an upcoming small company um and uh, give give us a lot of confidence and yet you know now deliver our first deal in portugal under his leadership right so uh, I'm very optimistic about it, realistically optimistic about it, and very much looking forward to kickstart the operations in Portugal. Yeah, and I suppose the big question is, you've got uh, the Borba projects now, and you've got uh, these new ones acquired. They're all going to be kind of competing for drilling hours, right? <laughs> They've all got really solid targets in them. Uh, where's your sort of primary projects that you want to drill first? Well, well, right now, I think we're going to focus on the one that's already available, like the one that we just acquired today, um, because, you know, we can start drilling um, fairly quickly there. And look at the grades. And you know, we're talking about, you know, 40 meters of 3% copper, 60 meters of, you know, close to 2.5-3% copper. Uh, so those are really nice uh, things we want to go after. Uh, so most likely we will go after the copper project first that we acquired today. And also the gold one, you know, look at the gold grace there and pretty nice stuff. So I think the objective is to, to hit the ground running on those two for the start uh, and then strategize, right? We, we, even though we are building a very large portfolio of projects, you know, we can't work on everything, right? So we're going to pick the best projects and then possibly, you know, farm things out. And, you know, we, we want to be mindful about our ability to deliver, right? We don't want to be in a position where we end up spreading ourselves too thin and, working on 10 projects and what comes out of it. We're going to have a very focused approach on things here. Yeah, and I think uh, anyone who's uh, never really looked at Portugal, I think we're aware that there are challenges there. Um, it is part of Europe, so, you know, permitting environmental protection. Um, there were problems with lithium uh, advancements there recently. But then you can also look on the other side. There's companies like Avrupa and Matza drilling there now. Uh, you know, they're not having any issues. They're looking for copper too. So I think uh, it's a fairly proven region. If you operate sensibly with the right people, you, you can do a good job. And just to add to that, you know, the, the actually the seller of those projects, uh, he has just permitted last year a, a, a new mine in Portugal. Um, so, you know, it shows you can do it. And, uh, you know, he's our partner. He's, you know, he is our partner in the project here. Um, so it shows you can do it. And, Portugal also about three weeks ago, they had a new mining you know, that just been published. So things are very clear. You just have to go through the process. Now, one thing to remind people about Portugal and exploration license in Portugal, you do actually have the right to drill. Once you sign an exploration license, which we have uh, through this acquisition, the drilling comes with it. You know, well, the only thing you need to do is provide a notification to certain government bodies that you're gonna start drilling and show them where. But it's, it's a pretty set process and, uh, you know, it's a very well established. I'm very comfortable working in Europe. I am European myself. I've been 
born and raised in Europe, um, even though I've been living in about 20 years now, but uh, I'm very confident in, in being able to work in Europe. And I think as you probably know, Portugal a couple of years ago was ranked uh, by Fraser Mining Institute with the fifth most uh, attractive mining jurisdiction in the world for mining. So, you know, there are countries and countries in Europe where things can get done and things are more challenging. But I think Portugal comes in my view on the part where things can actually get done. Yeah, I think uh, everybody knows I'm incredibly biased when it comes to European mining. Uh, I ran the Mining for Europe campaign a couple of years ago, and I've been sort of banging that drum for a bit too long. But I think it really is the time that Europe needs to look at its resource security. We're using tons, millions of tons of copper. All of it's being imported, apart from a little bit from Portugal already, and uh, reserves that are depleting in Poland. So if we want to continue producing um, materials, continue having industry, we need to build a mine somewhere. So uh, hopefully this is uh, part of Portugal's resurgence uh, in that. <laughs> Absolutely. No, it's exactly it. I agree. Great stuff, Catalin. Well, thank you very much for joining us today on the show. Uh, where's the best place to reach out to you if uh, people would like to hear more about Goldplay? Absolutely. It's always our website. Go to goldplaymining.ca or sign up to our social media feeds. And, uh, you know, you can, I'm just a phone call away, literally. You have my phone number on the website, my email is on the website. Reach out to me with any questions you may have. And, you know, thank you for uh, having me again on your show and I look forward to providing more updates as things progress here. That's great, Kathleen. And uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in to, uh, I suppose no one tunes in anymore, do they? I'm too old. Uh, thank you, everyone, for clicking on our, our link to watch this video. Uh, for the sake of bias, I should say I'm very biased. I own shares in Goldplay Mining uh, quite happily. Um, so be aware of that. Uh, we haven't made any buy or sell recommendations. Uh, this is uh, for entertainment purposes only. I suggest uh, taking some proper advice from a professional before investing any of your own money. Uh, but that's that's all from me and uh, and from Kathleen. Thank you very much for joining us, buddy. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a great day, everyone. Bye bye.